Want to know how knowledge coalescing in Angular can help you write better code? Awesome. Stick around. Hey friends, welcome to NG Update. I'm your host, Mark Thompson from the Angular team. And today we're talking all about knowledge coalescing. Recently, we've added support for knowledge coalescing in Angular templates. Now, developers have already been able to use the operator in TypeScript classes, but now we can take advantage of it in more parts of our applications. So what is knowledge coalescing? Well, knowledge coalescing is a logical operator that returns the value on the right-hand side whenever the left-hand side is null or undefined. For example, consider this template expression. We have name, the nullish coalescing operator, then default name property. If the name property is null or undefined, default name will be used in the template. Now, this operator can be really helpful when working with complex null and undefined checks. Let's say we want to display the user age and years in our template, but we don't want the template to show a blank value in the case of null or undefined. Here's one way you might write this. First, check to see if age is null or undefined. Then if it's not, return age, otherwise return the string age not available. With nullish coalescing, this can be simplified to age, the nullish coalescing operator, and the string age not available. Do you see how crisp this looks? Yeah, get that left hand up because I have something for you. High five from me to you. It may be tempting to think that the nullish coalescing operator doesn't really add value because, well, you could just use the logical or operator. But <laughs> this can lead to a gotcha moment in your code. Let's say that we change this expression. Age nullish coalescing operator, then the string age not available to this. Age logical or operator, then the string age not available. This looks fine, but it actually will result in the template incorrectly displaying age not available when the age is zero. And that's because zero is falsy. And we can't just not show love to newborns, right? Okay, but seriously, any falsy value is going to result in an incorrect outcome. Nullish coalescing is great for coding against null and undefined. Here's one cool way to use nullish coalescing. Optional chaining combined with nullish coalescing. Consider the situation where you have a person type that has an address type and within that address type, you wanna access the street name. The person could be null or undefined in the application. So what could we do? Well, using the power of optional chaining, we can update this template to look like this. We still use the optional chaining operator on person and address, then call street, and now use the nullish coalescing operator to provide the value, the string, street not available. Wow, would you look at that? Something this magical wasn't a possibility before, but here we are. All right, friends, that's it for this video. We hope that you found some value in it and that your code is less buggy. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you for being awesome. And until the next time, friends, go build great apps.